and we're back. So let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and hand in that baby rattle. A little Hiram. Hang on, baby. I'm coming. Hey, what's this? Uh, look, bed. The old bed is massive and dominates the room. Okay, I thought that was a cloth. Maybe it's like a tear in the sheet or something. I thought that was something we could pick up. Hang on, baby. Cradle rock soon froze the baby's voice wails from within. Interpretation. There's uh, nothing there. You drop the silver rattle into the baby cradle. As you do so, the crying of the baby ghost and the rocking of the cradle cease. You breathe a big sigh of relief. Oh. Suddenly, you hear a terrible rattling of chains from downstairs. Sounds of loud moaning and the rattling of heavy chains disturbs you. Well, let's go see what this is all about. The ghost of a stooped old miser trudges through the house, lugging heavy change behind him. He moans loudly in frustration as he appears to be searching for something he can't find. The old miser ghost's loud moans and groans drown out your attempt at conversation. I like that she kind of just takes over automatically on the stairs. So, so he's clearly based on... Um, A Christmas Carol. Um, it's Ebenezer Scrooge, uh, Jacob Marley, Molly. Is this the miser? No, I think he was the one over here on the left. You silly old zombies! I ain't scared of you. Here, uh, 1643, here lies Newberry Will. His life was finished because he took ill. But none'll miss him. He should have been wiser. Tis his own fault for being such a miser. Look, guys, we've done this dance. Oh, they are not having, they're not having that. Just casually digging up a grave while zombies are running around. You dig a small hole at the grave of the old miser. Aha! You found a bag of gold coins. You bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. I ain't got time for you zombies right now. I'm helping ghosts. Who you gonna call? Rosella. I last saw him go this way, so maybe he's over here. Sounds of loud moaning and rattling of heavy chains disturbs you. Maybe he's back this way? Yep. Give bag of gold. You offer the bag of gold coins to the old miser ghost. He greedily snatches it from your hands and then promptly disappears. The sounds of sorrowful weeping floats down from upstairs. Oh, do we have a reflection? Oh, we do have a... I didn't notice this last time. Oh, I love that. 
just like in uh, King's Quest 3. Those little touches just make everything so much better. Oh. Hello, ghost lady. You see the sad ghost of a beautiful young woman. She sits in her rocking chair and weeps as if her heart will break. You try to comfort the lady ghost, but she doesn't respond. It seems as if she doesn't even know you're here as she continues her deep sobbing. There was one who cried, right? Cried for a, a lost love or something? Was that to the left or to the right? I think that was to the right. I'm pretty sure that was to the right. Betty Cowden, 1650 to 1669. Here lieth the body of Betty Cowden, who would live longer, but she couldn't. Sorrow and grief made her decay when she lost her lover at sea one day. I think this was her. I guess let's, let's read the others to be sure there's not one that mentions crying. Dentist. No. Yeah, so I think this is her. Zombie? Just go away. Go away, zombie. Get out of here. I ain't got time for all that. You carefully dig a small hole at the sad lady ghost's grave. Yes, you have found a lovely locket. You bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. I should have looked at the bag of gold, but I mean, it was just a bag of gold. Give the locket. Give the locket. You hand the lovely locket to the distraught ghost. The locket seems to make her very happy as she vanishes into thin air. What was that? A loud wailing sound comes from downstairs. Let's go ahead and save. Oh my. Look, ghost. You have encountered the gentleman ghost of the, disting of the distinguished lord of the manor. He wails despondently as he seems to be looking for something he desperately wants. Peg leg. Walking stick. What a gentleman ghost. What a dapper fellow. Okay, so who was the lord of the manor? That was, um, is that Edward?
Lord Coningsby. Sleepeth here in peace, an honorable man, a valiant soldier, he served his country well. Terrifying zombie senses. Get out of here, zombie. I'm trying to do something. You dig a small hole at the grave of the Lord of the Manor. Gotcha. You found an impressive Medal of Honor. The terrifying zombie hub. You bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. Oh man, that's a lot of prompts. I ain't got no reason to sweat these zombies. Book metal. Ooh. Sounds for coming downstairs. I am downstairs. Oh, my lord. Oh my gosh. You metal. You offer the Medal of Honor to the Wailing Ghost. He takes it from your hands with great reverence. Satisfied, he vanishes into thin air. Ooh, a cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you. Begin... Be, yeah. He grins mischievously at you, begins to giggle, and runs from the room. Where are you going, little boy ghost? Come back here. Come back here, lad. You hear naughty giggling as the little boy ghost runs from the room. Look, ghost. See nothing. Oh, I didn't catch him in time. You hear naughty giggling as the little boy ghost runs from the room. Oh, look, ghost. See nothing special. I think there's something pretty special about a ghost. Also, well, this ladder wasn't here last time. I'm gonna get you. Uh, climb ladder. The little boy ghost laughs and refuses to budge from his seat on top of the chest. It might help if he had a toy to play with. After adjusting your eyes to the gloom, you soon see that you have stumbled upon the musty attic of the old house. The trap door in the floor is open, and from it, a ladder leads down to the room below. Useless junk and boxes clutter the room. There is an interesting chest near the open trap door. Okay, so he needs, he needs a toy in order to get him off that chest, I guess. Save here. I am not gonna lie, I genuinely expected it to just drop me if I walked over to the hole. I really did. There was a little boy ghost, I think. Or a little boy's grave, I think, was back over on the side. Yes, yes, yes.
Here lies the body of Marianne Louder. Nope. Dr. I let some. No. This is not a tombstone. Oh, wait, but this is a tombstone, isn't it? Beneath the stone lump of clay lies Uncle Peter down. Oh, that's Uncle Peter. Uh, see, this was the baby. This was the miser. This was the Lord. That's the seedless powder. That's the doctor. That's the uncle. It's got to be this, but it just keeps telling me I, I can't read it. Because I don't remember a little boy in the other one. Just keeps telling me I'm not close enough. Okay. Maybe that's not a tombstone. Maybe that's just like a piece of wall. Well, oh, okay, it's because it's got the little thing here. So maybe that's like this. It's a piece of wall. Wait, what about this? Is this a tombstone? Thorpe's corpse. Well, I... <clears throat> Not what I was expecting. Maybe it was back on the other screen. Because this is the woman, right? Yeah. Unless that's a tombstone? I, I don't think so, but... I mean... We're here, right? Why not... Uh, Okay. So let's try checking the other one. Wasn't this the dentist? Dentist Brown. Friends. Oh, wait, what was this? Is this a tombstone? I mean, it's not a gray, but Rebecca. Oh, it is a. Uh, it is a tombstone. Rebecca Freeland, fifteen ninety eight. She drank good ale, good punch, and wine, and lived to the age of ninety nine. This tombstone was the caution of the zombies, right? Yeah, that's a poor woman, right? Let's go. So I guess he is back on the other screen. Where? It's obvious he's not one that we've already dug at. I'm 
Strong and athletic was my frame. Far from my native home I came, and many fought with Simon Baron, alas, but I did not return. This is the doctor. Doctor, I let some people's ill come. This is the seedlets powder. Oh, uh, it's it's got to be this. I must just keep missing exactly where I need to be. Like, like that's that's got to be it. What's the retype is F3? Yes, I actually am having to hotkey this. Maybe this isn't a tombstone. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's this tiny, tiny little thing of gray right here. No. All right, that 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 lied to me. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, never mind. For half a second, I thought when I came back uh, for like half a second, I thought I was uh, stuck on it. At this point, I'm just like pressing the button, seeing what happens. Okay, I let some. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this little cross. Here I lie with my three daughters, who died drinking uh, Sheltenham waters. If we had struck to Epsom, if we had stuck to Epsom salt, we should not sleep in this cold vault. Maybe this little wooden thing back here is a grave, then. Six feet beneath his funeral wreath is laid upon the shelf one Jerry Jones, who dealt in bones, and now he's bones himself. Oh, okay, well, what about... Thorpe's Corns. And those are the daughters. These are just pieces of wall, right? Yeah, like a little gate. Hmm. 
What about that blue cross on the right? I never, I never, I assumed it was like background stuff, but. Sixteen thirty four to sixteen seventy two, she done her best. Yeah, that's terrifying zombie. Length, my friends. Dentist Brown. Rebecca Freeland. Reader here lies before bear to tread more without fear. One, I cannot speak the rest. You may weep. I'll smite my breast, grieving, preventing, and this stone too small to be written on. Only this. Oh, a little boy. I was like up here, and it was so dramatic. I said, oh, it can't be him, and I just didn't bother reading the rest of it. I oh. Reader here lies, but forbear to read more without a tear. One, I cannot speak the rest. You may weep, I'll smite my breast. Grief preventing in this stone, and this stone, too small to be written on, only this. A little boy, Willie, in Abram's bosom laid. 1546. Okay. I'm, I'm an idiot. It's, <laughs> I'm an absolute idiot. I've, I've read that like three times, and I just kept saying, oh, no, that's, that's so, like, dramatic. It definitely wouldn't be a little boy. Ugh. Dig a small hole at the little boy's boy ghost's grave. Aha, you have uncovered a toy horse. Bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. Look, horse. Nice. Okay. I don't know how much time we've spent, so I'm gonna. I'm not sure we're probably fine, but. Spent an awful lot of time looking for that. A cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you, begins to giggle, and runs from the room. Come back here, little boy ghost. Go get you. I'm going to get you. Little boy ghost laughs and refuses to budge from his seat on top of the chest. It might help if he had a toy to play with. Give toy. You give the toy horse to the little boy ghost in hopes that he will vanish like the others before him. For a moment, you fear that he will not, as he takes time to examine it carefully. Suddenly, he grins at you, and with a twinkling, disappears. You peek into the open chest and find an old set of sheet music. You take the sheet music and carry it with you. Alright. Now, if I was sheet music... I'd want to be for like a harpsichord or an organ. I only say a harpsichord. I've been replaying Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 on the uh, on my old Xbox recently, and uh, or fairly early on in the game, there's a section you got to collect sheet music for a harpsichord. So it's just on my brain. I'm suspecting this is more of an organ, though. Look, room. The old kitchen is quite bare. The fireplace has been cold for years, and the dusty pantry is empty but for old crumbs. I'm sorry, what was that? I guess it's a butter churn. Uh, 
Oh no. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet that harpsichord is, uh... Oh, how much you want to bet the harpsichords in? Oh yeah, or the, I'm sorry, the organ. The organ is is in here. I guarantee it. Oh, here we go, Rosella. You did so good on the other stairs. Oh man. At least they're kind enough to give me a railing right here. It's very polite of them. Oh no, Rosallo, please. Oh, Rosella, please. Oh, how am I supposed to get up this? <laughs> oh, this is... Man was not made for this. Can I click here? Oh, I can click here. Oh! Oh, I have to... I, I have to push the up arrow to point towards me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh gosh, why? Oh, oh, no. All right, well. <laughs> we get to be a ghost in the old house now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Because we're just over 32 minutes. Um, and when we come in the next one, we will... We'll hopefully make it to that organ. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye. <laughs>